You got put on in prison. You're not from Bantin. They don't know you. You see what I'm saying? Why well, it's important to have your own homies. Even if you, you could be from, again, you got LA games everywhere. Everywhere, right? Uh, Houston, over, over deep in Houston, right? But they still have their own stuff too. Um, the foreign park crib, they still follow those hoovers, but they got their thing for them. It's still a homage to the land, but you gotta have your your day one niggas. You see what I'm saying? If y'all have your own click up under that umbrella, your own name up under that umbrella, whatever, but you gotta have your own niggas. You just became a power ruin the joint and like you want Bob to embrace you. That's not stopping the internet detectives from trying to piece this puzzle together. One fan said, that's a valid reason to leave. He should be protecting her and helping her to heal. Others are giving Stunna the side eye. It's crazy how she put him on a pedestal until he ran when she got shot. Now, that's a that's a fair point, too, because she really did. I go cap. It go both ways because. Again, I, I looked at dude always as a weirdo from the jump. As soon, not always, but as soon as I heard him talk, or really as soon as I seen him pass down on back on feet. <laughs> Strip talk, Jay. Th th amazing point. Because Jalalo Malalo just said, who cares about this? But this is the same guy who just asked us to do a poll on, I don't even want to repeat. <laughs> and for her, the, the way she just went so hard for the nigga, like, really didn't make no sense once I started to see him for who he was. But on the other end, hey, this is the nigga you fucking with, so you should go hard for him. You see what I'm saying? But like this, this comment says, it's crazy how she put him on a pedestal until he ran when he, when she got shot. He was the hardest nigga in L.A. until he wasn't. All of a sudden, he's the coward that got ran up out of Oakland. I'm glad she's okay, but the egg is on her face. The fact that she laid up with him this whole time, he had a colostomy bag, but now he speak now she speaks ill of him. Not taking care of it is crazy work. This says a lot about her and her character. Her admitting to cheating for two years may send him over the edge. No, that's crazy too, because I'm almost forgetting that you said he got a colostomy bag. That he got a shit bag. If he's an intricate part of, of your career and you guys had a network, Red Run, which Red Run was an OD ass name for a network anyway. Like that's just over blood. We're gonna call the new network Red Run. Man, you y'all was whooping too hard, man. You, what, 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 what did FYBJ man say? Y'all over whooped with Red Rum. He probably was on drugs, feeling sad. Man, the homies don't fuck with me. Well, the homies don't fuck with you, nigga, because they don't know you. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Call Hulayim La, Al Banawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rekat, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you, speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 son of man i have made thee a watchman unto the house of israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me and that's part of our vocation our lot is to warn our people of the prophecies that are going to be brought forth of the of the judgments that are going to occur on the earth man not to be talking about no goddamn gangs man not to be talking about this crew that crew you know basically to, to, to look like you have a podcast talking about bloods and crips hoovers and you know whatever man you know cali and texas man oh just madness man and you know this guy's supposed to be a high priest, but yet 
and you know it's his whole countenance his whole spirit which was which was it was already off from the get-go first and foremost but you can see a a, a very very big uh, it's like a very very big change and difference from his countenance his spirit and even the way he's talking man he's talking like he, he he's a a, a gangbanger man which this dude wants to be you know uh, uh known and recognized as a street dude man okay but we're sent here to warn israel edify israel to speak these scriptures not talk about no goddamn bloods and crips man about what's going on in in the gang uh, uh, world, man. Nah, man. So this guy, which we have been telling you before, that this guy's a false prophet, man. And all these, you know, testimonies, the, these reprovals, these rebukes, are, are showing you that it was uh, 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 very critical and correct uh, of, of what we did out of love. It's showing you that these cats ain't right, man. You know, but you're going to have carnal niggas that have the same mindset as this guy that's going to continue to follow him, man. Because nowhere in the scriptures that just says, let's talk about gangs and laugh and have a good time and make a podcast, man. It's supposed to be, you know, watching the times, measuring everything, man. Line it up with the scriptures. Not talking about no goddamn Hoover Crips and no Bloods, man. No Pyru, all that stuff. That's nonsense, man. We're supposed to warn the people. We're supposed to watch. We're supposed to be preparing our people, man. Okay, and I ain't. I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, hold. I'm not gonna go too too uh, long on this. I'm just gonna get straight to the point and then close out. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter two, starting off at verse one. But there were false prophets also among the people, and again, this guy's a false prophet, man. This guy doesn't have the fear, or the reverence, or nor does he tremble. Toward Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah because he's doing this for his own uh own will, his own lust, man. Okay? But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. Now, this is a damnable heresy to, to literally use your platform that you have established. You know, what you basically said, you're, you're a prophet, you're speaking about the Lord, but yet you're using your platform to, to build a podcast and talk about worldly bullshit that has nothing to do with the scriptures, man. And also, too, before you simple-minded fuckboys come on my channel talking your nonsense on the comment board, okay, I got this from I ISUPK. This is a clip from ISUPK, so go on their comment board and, and talk shit to them and all and all i'm going to do is block and delete your ass anyway man okay if y'all can't see what's going on then you know keep on to stay over there man we're going to continue to reprove and rebuke man and, and to put the spotlight on these niggas that ain't right man because this is nigger shit okay this is niggerdom man so if you want to get mad that we don't want to be of the world and we don't want to be niggas that's cool man stay on that side man stop watching us man let them break down the scriptures and, and keep you uh, confused, man. Even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Because this guy also denies uh, that Yahweh Shai is of importance. I've literally heard him say, in a video on, on a uh, highways in the byway street teaching that, that when Yahweh Shah comes back, he's going to need a high priest. He's going to need a Levite. Where does it say that in the scriptures, man? Okay, so, you know, basically, I'm just waiting for, for, for cats like him that was amongst, you know, their congregation and also Deacon uh, Haka and uh, what's that other, that other uh, bug out's name? Um, Am. Can't even think of your damn name. Uh, what's his uh, name? Uh, Hassad. To literally say y'all Old Testament Israelites. But verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And that's what you see, man. Because many a, a lot of people follow these cats, man. Okay, they have over, you know, 10, 15, 20,000 and, 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 and above that uh, uh, followers, man, that follow this stuff, man. Because they're carnal minded Because again these guys are not fully in the truth They're really in the world still man 
and they bring forth that uh, entertainment. Okay, they appease your flesh and they basically haven't been uh, uh, sanctified and purified by the word, man. And again, everybody has their lot. So keep on doing your job, man. You know, keep on doing what you're doing because, you know, uh, two thirds have to be deceived, man. Okay, and also as it states in the book of First Peter chapter 4, verse 17, the judgment shall begin in the house of Israel. And that's meaning that you so-called Israelites that uh, say you're in the truth. Say that you acknowledge Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. Say that you're keeping the uh, laws, you know, to the best of your ability. Because a lot of you niggas also say, too, that you keep the law 100%. 100%. And amongst other other madness, too, man. Okay? Verse 2 again. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 2 again. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So this, these cats bring forth wickedness out of the truth. You know, you set up your platform, you did all this, you did all that, you got all these debates going on, and now you're, uh, you know, advertising and pushing a podcast talking about fucking gang members and, and gangs and shit. Hey, yo, man, this is wicked, man. This is fucking wicked, man. To literally sit right here, the homies this, the homies that, because you don't fuck with you cuz, and that and this and that. This dude's spirit is wicked, man. This is a nigga. This ain't no fucking. This ain't no uh, Levitical priest. This ain't no, uh, uh, you know, no true man of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh This is a nigga, man. But you know, again, everybody got to do their job. So what are we supposed to be doing, man? And again, I ain't, like I said, I ain't gonna go deep on this, man. It's no need to, man. We've already proved the point in various other videos showing forth that these dudes are off, man. But this is just another reminder, man. For you to repent and stop following these men. Because these men don't give a damn about your salvation. They don't fear the Lord. They're not trembling. They're not uh, uh, walking circumspectly, cautiously. They're not taking heed to how they're doing the work. Okay? Period, man. Okay, this is uh, uh, Sirach. <clears throat> Sirach chapter... Uh, chapter 39 starting off at verse 1 but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of the ancient no we're going to seek out the wisdom of hoover crips and pyru bloods we're going to seek out the wisdom of the gangs in houston seattle okay in uh, uh california and we're going to talk about what's going on in the gang world and have a laugh and a giggle and, and sort of podcast about, you know, uh, Pyrus and, 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 and Crips and, and rolling, uh, rolling, uh, what's that, uh, 69 rolling Crips, whatever, you know, the uh, the, uh, the um, Crips that uh, Nipsey Hussle represent, Rolling Stone or something like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. So Rock 39 verse 1 from the top. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of the ancient and be occupied in prophecies now nah, we're going to be occupied in gang matters we're going to be talking about what what niggas is beefing from what what, what crews you know that's that's the highlight of our, of our day that's 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 what we're going to uh, pinpoint that's what we're going to talk about when all these prophecies and all these things are going on upon the earth to warn and edify people to keep them uh informed but you want to be talking about some fucking gang man membership man can't make this shit up verse two man he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and this is not keeping the sayings of the renowned men having a a, a, a podcast talking about gang shit Gang, gang, Pyru, uh, 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 Crips, this and that. Oh, the cuz is tripping. They don't fuck with him because cuz ain't right. The fuck are you talking about, man? The Lord gonna, man, the Lord's gonna uh, uh, publicly make all you niggas that, 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 uh, been doing so much wickedness and, 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 and so comfortable and so relaxed because you ain't got touched yet. He's gonna make y'all, y'all judgment public, man. He will keep the saying of the renowned men and were. Subtil parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. So this is nothing to do with the Lord's will, his pleasure, okay, his spirit. Nothing. And this is what the real men do when I just read to you, man. We keep the sayings of the, of the renowned men. You know, Ezekiel, John, Yahweh Shai, okay, Peter. 
Isaiah, etc., man. You know, we keep those sayings, man. And we study, we go into those things, you know, to, 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 uh, to increase and to learn more so we can feed the flock and make sure that they're being fed so they can, uh, you know, uh, uh, have that um, comfort from the scriptures and that comfort from Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shad, not no fucking gang shit, man. How was that, com how was that comfort to, the, to, the, to our people, man? <sighs> Let's close out, man. But before we do... Something else I wanted to grab if I can think of what it was. So like here. Con. Titus chapter 1 verse 16. They profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him. And this is the work that's showing that they're denying the Lord. That, that He just used the Lord to uh, make a name for himself and now he's gradually pushing off to the worldly concept now he's gradually shifting his fo followers to uh, worldly bullshit okay they profess that they know the most high but in works they deny him being abominable and disobedient and onto every good work reprobate why do you think uh, 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 Peter said examine yourself whether you be reprobates man because this is a prime example of abominable and disobedient filthy okay corruptible works man this is not the spirit okay not the calling from our heavenly father to be doing this man okay but again you you negroes and you women and you uh, hispanics and native and similar indians that like this please man stay over there man oh keep keep on embracing this guy man okay you, you right where you belong but let's close out because like I said I ain't going to go too deep into this uh, St. Matthew chapter 7 and I'm going to start off at verse uh, verse 15 beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves and you know again we have done various videos throughout the years on these guys not just Sakari but you know IUIC, ISUPK GOCC etc anybody that goes off we bring forth the correction and again out of love man it's not out of, it's not out of hatred it's not out of jealousy envy no we fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah so we're gonna do what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah told us to do and that's to defend the gospel man defend his words man it's, 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 it's nothing of what I just stated man Okay, we don't we don't want to get killed. We don't want to get judged because we see you niggas going off. We're going to turn our cheek. Fuck no. We're going to correct it and acknowledge it, man, and bring it forth. And if you don't like it, fuck you. And we don't give a fuck if you don't like us. Fuck you too, man. Plain and simple, man. Okay? The prophets weren't light. But look what the look what the Lord did for the prophets. He 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 protected them. He guided them, man. And they get they got a seat at the table with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. And that's what we're fighting for, man. We're not fighting for your uh, uh, acknowledgement or your uh, acceptance, man. Verse 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And this is evil. What the fuck does this have to do with? with embracing, edifying, and leading our people to salvation. Again, giving comfort through and by the scriptures, through the power and spirit and words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, talking about some fucking gangs, man. This is wicked, man. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. So a good tree, a man that actually fears the Lord, actually uh, 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 obedient, actually trembles, Ashley is considerate of how he's doing things and, and taking heed to how he's uh, uh, teaching, how he's uh, 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 conducting himself. That man's going to bring forth things that are profitable, okay, for the, uh, uh, the hopeful elect, okay? A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit, Salaki. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, and that's what you see. The Lord is casting this dude down again. He's gradually taking that spirit, that that portion that He gave him, away from him, and pushing him into the world, man. 
back into the world and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. And again, over and over again, we have made it known by their fruits, ye shall know them. And if you can't recognize and see what the fuck is going on, then you belong over there, man. And we're going to continue to warn. We're going to continue to uh, edify and show forth, you know, the era of people's ways. And again, first and foremost, we do it out of love. But again, these other cats, you know, Sirach 32 verse 7. You know, uh, they're going to find an excuse for their wickedness, man. You, you, they can't be corrected. They can't be reproved because they believe that they're right in all their endeavors and everything that they push, man. But I don't want to rot man. I hope and I pray that this warning was edifying, uplifting, and informative to the true, sincere Aki and Wa So with that, I'm just going to say, Call Holeim La, Al Banawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakat, Kodash, Watha Wada, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakat, Kodash. For putting the spirit on me, my elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down, for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you, and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. I don't want to write to Zah until the next one. So with that, I'm just gonna say Shalom.